Calling and texting the whole damn week Crying to me like your first name's Keith Why you questioning me about who I let deep You got it, man, you got it You got it, man, you got it Hello, my beautiful people Welcome back to my channel It's your girl, Faithfully Asia And I'm back with a, another hair review Today I'm gonna to be reviewing a wig by Premier Lace Wigs. This is my first time working with this vendor. Today I'll be reviewing their Invisible HD Transparent Lace Wig. Um, and this is in their wet and wavy texture. Now dolls, before I started my YouTube channel, I used to always wear wet and wavy hair. That was my go-to hair because I felt it was like the most versatile hair. I could throw it on when I don't feel like styling it, I'll just wet it. And when I did feel like styling it, I'll just blow it out or straighten it. But anyway, at first glance, let me show you guys the lace on this unit. I'm really kind of excited to review this wig because as you can see, this transparent lace is just that. It's a very thin lace as well, which means that it is going to blend well. This is a six inch lace front wig. However, the lace is mainly in the middle and there's a little lace on each side, but it's mainly this area right here that will be your main part in space. Now it does come with a removable adjustable elastic band and this will come in handy if you want to wear this unit glueless. Let me put this wig on a mannequin head so we can get a better look at its construction. Now as I put this wig on the mannequin head, you can really see how transparent this lace is as it's almost invisible. As you can see, the hairline does come pre-plucked and you're gonna get about six inches of part and space down the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this into a side part. And I just wanted to show you guys the knots on this unit as it does not come bleached, but I'm gonna show you guys how to camouflage it. So my camera cut off, but I'm gonna give you a reenactment of what I did. So basically I turned the wig inside out. I took this airbrush spray and I simply sprayed it along the inside of the wig wherever there was lace. And then I took my blow dryer and blowed it dry. Now, as you can see, the knots are not really as visible as it was before. Just wiping any excess spray that got on the hair off. And this hairline is plucked pretty well. I'm going to just pluck it a little bit more because my name is Asia and that's what I do. Okay dolls, so I went ahead and did my ball cap. Initially I was going to wear this wig glueless, but I decided I wanted to gel it down with my guys to be glue gel. But before I do, I do want to try it on just so you can see what it would look like if you decide to just wear it glueless. Again, it has the adjustable elastic band in the back. This is pretty secure on my head and all I would do is just cut the lace and then you could just rock it like that. But like I said, I am going to apply my got to be glue gel. And then I'm gonna take some of the black got to be glue gel and secure it around my perimeter. Next, I'm gonna blow it with my blow dryer until the glue gets tacky. Now I'm going to just pull this lace forward. Now because this is such um, invisible lace, it is thinner than your normal lace. So you wanna be very careful when you do that. And I'm just gonna pull it right and place it right where the glue is. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace. Now 
Now this airbrush spray matches my makeup, not my actual complexion. So let me go ahead and finish putting the rest of the makeup on my face. I'm gonna tie this down with my scarf. I'm gonna let this set for about five minutes. Just soften those baby hairs. Now I'm gonna wet this hair just to activate the waves. I'm gonna apply a little bit of my got to be kinkier mousse just to help these waves come alive a little bit more. And this is what the hairline looks like before I bleach it. I am going to bleach this unit later in this video so you can have a comparison. Let me show you different ways you can also wear this wig. You could also just put it back and wear it in a ponytail. You can also wear this up in a top knot. Now guys, I'm just gonna do a quick top knot here for illustration purposes only. Of course, if I was gonna wear this out, I would do it neater. Okay dolls, so I went ahead and I bleached the knots and I did end up over bleaching the knots a little bit. It happens to the best of us. I did it for my normal 20 minutes, but I think because this lace is so thin, it really took to bleaching the knots quickly and it did end up being a little bit over bleached. So I'm gonna just apply some of my face powder to the inside of the unit, just along the parting area. So this is basically how you would wear your unit if you decided to wear it glueless. I am going to spray it down with my got to be glue hairspray though. Melted. Yes. I love it. And before this hair dried, I did use my shea butter leave-in conditioner. And that just kind of helped define the curl so that it doesn't dry big and frizzy. That's just some of my Garnier Fructis, just to add back some of the shine to it. So this is pretty much how this hair looks in its natural state. As I mentioned, this is the wet and wavy texture. You can also wear this hair straight or curled. It's really easy to manipulate this hair. So it's very user friendly and beginner friendly as well because it doesn't really require much for you. If you want to just throw this a wig on and go, then this is your go-to wig. Now, I will caution one thing, is we want very thin lace, but the downside to that is that you have to be gentle when maneuvering this lace because you can end up ripping the lace on this unit. So I just wanna put that out there for you guys to be mindful about that. Although we all love thin lace, that is one of the downsides to it. So as I mentioned, this here is from Premier Lace Wig. This is their HD transparent wet and wavy unit in 22 inches. I do have a coupon code for you guys to save $10. I'll put that across the screen as well as in the description box down below. I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed last week and the new name as well as the person who submitted that name will be listed right here.
So dolls, before we get out of here, I'm gonna need your help naming this unit. What are we gonna call her? Go ahead and leave your suggestions in the comment section down below. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And if you're not part of the Faithful Fam, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the family. So dolls, is always important. You guys stay blessed. And if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video. Take care now.